Okay, this is to increase the horsepower on a Coyote CK2610. This is about a 2018 model. So we are on the right hand side of the tractor. We're gonna pop the hood. And right in here, so here's your filter. There's this circle shiny thing, and then right below that, there's this little piece. It's about two inches long, and it spins. It's just a cap, a cover for the actual fuel screw. So I'm not doing, I'm just spinning it. Nothing's happening, it's just a cover. So we're gonna cut around, it's very thin metal. We're gonna cut around the circumference of this about a half inch back and expose the nut underneath. So we'll pop off this little wiring harness here, just to get that out of the way, and then we're gonna cut this off. Okay, so here's this part again, right? This is just that piece that just spins. Here's the other part of it right here. I used an 18 volt handheld angle grinder and I was able to get it in here just like that and just spin it around because again, this cap just spins. So you keep spinning this cap and cutting around it. Now, see what's inside of it. You don't want, you only want to cut about an eighth inch deep around there just to get this cap off. Okay, so after you cut this piece off, there's still another piece remaining after it, right? So you do, need to get that whole piece off and it doesn't just I thought it just slid out so you do need to you know continue to cut it see these two grooves in there that's what's holding it in so what I did is I took this little cutter on the end of a drill which you could use a drum on just don't have one handy right so start that slit down it as far as you can before you're gonna hit the actual block like you don't want to start cutting into here right and then I just took screwdriver and just started tapping it you know and just continuing to like tap 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 until it broke open and then you just wedge it open and just pry it off it took some time and <clears throat> whatever so now you have your screw there so now we're gonna start the tractor up and now this spins right it's but right now that's where it was it was basically horizontal so that you know we're gonna probably back it out two turns but we're gonna start the tractor, warm it up, and then we'll play with that. And then we'll probably end up, you know, tightening this back up so that this, is, this doesn't move. Okay, so this is stock, 2200 RPMs. We're in high range, and I'm just gonna push it to the floor. This is a gradual uphill, uphill all the way up. So let's try this. Gradual start. So after about 50 feet, foot is to the floor on the pedal. So now we come to a steeper section right here. Starting to bob quite a bit. I'm not taking my foot off. We're at 1,000, 800, 700, 605. All right, we were gonna stall out right there. Okay, so that was stock. Okay, so we're gonna crank it out two turns. Stock right there. One. Two full turns. Same test, 2200 RPM, same starting point. Gradually put it to the floor. Okay, after about 50 feet, we're to the floor. 
So now we're getting to that steep part right here. This is where it started to bog before. Right here is where it stalled out. And then this is the steepest part that we didn't make it to before. Yeah, that's a big, big difference. The only thing is, you know, I can smell more, you know, let's call it incomplete combustion coming out of the exhaust. Maybe I'll back it off a little bit, maybe one and a half turns instead of two, uh, but definitely worthwhile. Okay, so to wrap up, I did a little bit of, a little bit less than two turns. Um, I retightened this jam nut so this thing's not wiggling around, so now it's kind of locked into the location that we set. And then, you know, I saved this original piece. Granted, it's got a piece missing because I ground that off because I went too deep, right? But put this on. I'm going to tighten that up. That's it.